Hi everyone, it's Zinnia here. Today I wanted to make a quick tutorial and show you how you can add background music to any of your Scratch projects. I'll show you two methods. First, I'll show how you can add music from the Scratch library, and then I'll show you how you can find lots more options for music. So, let's say that I have my character designer project and I'd like to add background music to it. I like to add background music to the stage and have the stage play the music, but it's really up to you. Any of the sprites or the stage can play the music. But anyway, you can go to the Sounds tab and hover over this button that says Choose a Sound and click Choose. And obviously in the sound library you have lots of sounds to choose from, but in the Loops category there are loops that are really great for background music. So you can hover over them to test them all out. You can try whichever one you want. I think that I like this uh, drip drop music, so I'll click and add that to my project. You can play it here. And now I can click on the code tab and in the sound category, there's this block, play sound until done. And if you click on this block, it will play the entirety of the sound all the way through. And if you put that inside a forever loop and click on it, as you can see, it continuously plays the sound over and over again. And if you put a when green flag clicked block on top, now when you start your project, it's a character designer project, so I can go clicking on things and design the character. But as you'll see, the music just plays the whole time through. Um, one thing to note is you want this play sound drip drop until done block. You don't want the start sound block. I will show you why. If I take start sound and say forever, so the start sound block starts playing a sound, but then it will immediately go and start doing the next piece of code, which in this case, it's going to start sound and then it's going to start sound and then it's going to start sound. I actually haven't tried this yet. I don't know what this is going to sound like, but oh God. It's, I don't even think you can hear it, it's just like, it keeps trying to start the sound, but I don't think Scratch wants me to be able to, to do that. So actually I can probably show it with the pop sound. If I always did this, it just like continuously plays it over and over again, interrupting itself. So you don't want start sound, you want play sound until done because that will let the sound finish and then it will play it again. So that's how you can add background music that is in the Scratch sound library. But let's say you want more options for music. The thing that I most often do is search Scratch for good music. So if I'm searching through Scratch projects and find a project with music that I like, then I'll just check with the person and make sure they're okay with me using the music, and then I'll give that person credit. And then the way you can transport that music to your project is using the backpack. So you can just click see inside on their project and then just look around for the sprite that has the music in it. Here it's the stage again because I made this project, so I put it there. Um, but anyway, you can then go to the Sounds tab and click to open your backpack, and then just drag the music inside and put it there. And then in your own project, you can you know go to the Sounds tab and open up the backpack by clicking on it and drag the sound there. And now you have the forest music and you can click back on the code tab and have your project play that. So now I would have that music for this project. And to give credit, I can just click see project page and say, thanks Zoetrope for the background music and click copy link to copy the link to their project and paste that here. So anyway, yeah, I hope you have fun adding background music to all of your games and projects and everything. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time and scratch on.